that walk I just noticed with <laughs> his arms. Doesn't know what to do with his arms. Let's take this thing up. You have nothing with which to manipulate the marble. What? Let's see if she's still here, actually. Use your key. You know, the one you stole. You turn the bolt. Ah. There's nobody ah. here. Jasmine must have gone on break. She did say she's about to go on break. Let's go Larry 6. I don't think all these save slots are necessary. Outside of quitting the game, but... I'm taking one of your fish. Sperm whale. Forget you never know when a recently deceased squid oh, will come squid. in handy. There we go. Maybe the cat has a taste for squid. You start to pick up the creel, but it's sopping wet. You decide you don't really need all those squid. Hi there, little fella. Who's a cute sperm whale? You are. That's who. Mr. Wiggles gives you the cold, wet shoulder. Hmm. Not in the, uh, giving me the... Let's see, what do I want from you? The whale vomit. Whale vomit. How are we going to make this whale vomit for us? Hot sauce? I said, I mentioned don't give it to... Well, I said chocolates with cats. Jury's still out on whales with hot sauce. Seems like a good as places any to test it out. Let's try it. Look for a convenient way to administer the hot sauce to Mr. Wiggles. The blowhole, right? Just toss it? Wait, what? Larry? Uh, okay. Sure. Carefully, you tip the hot sauce bottle into Mr. Wiggles' blowhole and pour out the entire contents. Can't help but think how his bubbles rise to the top of the sauce as it slowly glugs down up into Mr. the whale's Wiggles right inner now. recesses. Don't try this at home. Okay. Easy there, big fella. There's your he answer. can't take anymore. He's gonna blow. <laughs> Poor Mr. Deep Wiggles. Deep within the aquarium, the overspiced whale gives a mighty heave. There it is. Something floats to the surface of the aquarium. Mr. Wiggles swims away, snorking constantly. Just like uh, just like that, we have not nah, with my whale. You don't. You kneel and scoop the water towards yourself until the amber grease is within reach. It's gooey and revolting, and you stick it in your pocket <laughs> without a second thought. You're not really capable of second thoughts. Yeah, baby. I think my pockets might need a spritz of banaka here in a minute. Hopefully Fawn won't mind that my pants smell of whale vomit. My new bride. That's why I love her. She looks the other way on those kind of things. She loves us for who we are. Whale vomit and all. Is that you? Larry? Larry. It sure is, baby. Come on in. I'm ready for you. All right. Yeah, baby. You hey. walk into the honeymoon suite. Your blushing bride is waiting for you. <laughs> Hello, Larry. You're here at last. Oh my God. Forgive me if I'm a little shy. I've never been with a man who meant so very, very much to me. I understand. Excellent. Larry. Your breath is making it harder for me to love. As long as it's not the whale vomit. That's a package deal, baby. Ah. All right. Larry, we're married now. No more talk. No more dancing. It's time for you and me to consummate. I just need some music or something. You know, let's make the mood even more perfect. Technically, that's not possible. Shut up. I mean, don't be that way, oopsie poopsie. If my fawn wants music, that's what she you shall have. You tweak the radio dial. There's nothing but static on this station. You tweak the radio dial. You tweak... Jeez, why can't they make a radio that gets stations at all these little numbers? Yeah, baby. 
We'll be back to our commercial-free four-hour Barbara Streisand marathon after yes. this commercial Perfect message. Perfect mood setter. I don't understand that. How many times has this <laughs> happened to you? You've just gotten married, and you forgot to get the perfect bottle of wine for your honeymoon. Don't ask the hotel to send up their finest bottle of rotten, overpriced garbage. Don't settle for trashy boxed wine they sell at the convenience store. The taxi driver will probably drink it all, and you'll end up in a fiery crash. Don't let that happen Someone's to you. Someone's played this game Call before. Call Snappy Liquors. We deliver anywhere anytime in five minutes or less how do we do it that's what i'd like to know simple we buy in bulk and pass the savings on to you that doesn't answer the question <laughs> so call now 555-8039 that's 555-8039 liquor quick with snappy liquors and now back to more barbara fawn turns off the radio i thought you wanted music larry wine would be even better than music I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Uh, Go order us some of that wine, Larry. Five, five, five. Please. It'll make everything Thank absolutely you. perfect. Eighty thirty nine. For, you know, Canubial joining. <gasps> That's so romantic. Right away, dearest. Yeah, baby. Already had ordered us around. Let's go get that wine, Larry. With your arms that you don't know what to do with when you walk. Back to the only payphone in this town. They did kind of mention that. I think it's out front of the convenience store, actually. Taxi! I think there was a phone over here. Was there? Sorry, man. <laughs> he already looks pissed. Nope. I'll just have him make the full loop around Lost Wages. Oh, wait, I have to think for the cat. Well, the cat's going? on every screen ever. That's fun. Come and go, my man. Come and go. That'll be 16 bucks, please. 16 Thanks, kid. Five, five, oh, kitty. You don't need. There we go. Who wants a dead squid? I think you do, Feral Meow. You hold the squid out to the cat. You quickly grab one of the used syringes lying <laughs> all too plentifully around lost wages. Yeah. <laughs> With a startling adeptness that raises that was a questions pretty good about animation. what you do in your free time, you extract the fluid from the cat's musk glands. The cat runs off without so much as a vengeful backwards glance that might foreshadow a sequel, or at least a really bloody scene later. Congratulations, you've got the best available local civet. Score! Yeah, baby! Sweet, making friends everywhere you go. Look, Mom, no hands, and... Meow gets it. Five, 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 eighty, thirty-nine. Yeah, baby. Dial that number to Hello, get some wine. Happy liquor delivery. We deliver liquor in a snapper. Yes, I just heard your ad on the radio, and I'd like to purchase some fine wine. Where do you want it delivered? The honeymoon suite at Caesar's Palace, please, and step on it. All of our fine wines have been stepped on, sir. That's why they're fine. Oh, oh. very sophisticated. And your order has been processed. We'll send one of our hottest young men immediately. Thanks for calling. What did he mean, hottest? hottest. Don't know. Let's uh, not keep phone waiting. Taxi. Another second. By the way, I want everyone to note you again. how quickly... Is that how you treat all your customers? How quickly we get back to Fawn. We ordered the wine 20 seconds ago. I'm gonna need. Thanks, kid. We're back in the honeymoon suite. I'd say about 60 seconds after placing that phone call. See the guy. Come on in. I'm ready for Maybe you. Maybe we beat the wine delivery guy here. Oh, Larry, it's you. I thought it was that cute young delivery boy again. 
Hmm, what does she mean by that? Oh, well, you decide to let it pass. After all, this is your wedding night. Yeah, let's not let lines like that slow us down. Been a while since I had, uh, saved. Can I pour you a glass? Mrs. Laffer? Love the way that sounds. Just happen to have a couple glasses on us at all time. <laughs> Careful when you're sitting down. For you. Enchanté. Here's to us. Here's to you, Larry. This is usually the part where women drug me. Not... All right, Larry. The stars have aligned. Love is all around. Life's sweetest reward. The sun is gonna surely shine. Now use those three words every young woman in love longs to hear. After you scratch your butt. Let's How get about now? How yes, about sir. now? This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Goody! Are you relaxed, my love? Yes! Are you ready for me? Yes! Oh, yes! Then, let's get ready to rumble! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> It doesn't you bend that way. Oh, uh, no. What happened? Whew. That was great for me. How was it for you? Uh, is that it? That's it. Thanks for everything, Lance. Lance? It's Larry. Thanks for the ring, the candy, the money, the this, the that, the contents of your wallet. What? You did forget to pay me for the wine. Oh. I left you a few bucks. I'm not totally heartless. Just mostly. And thanks for the wine, and oops, <laughs> you got me monologuing. See you later, sucker. Fawn, sweetheart? A lesser man would be torn to shreds by this turn of events. But not you, Larry. You've got optimism. You've got resilience. You've got to find a way out of here. My $1,400. <laughs> Careful with that, by the way. Glasses in your pants are one thing, but a syringe full of... Ugh. I've got a Swiss Army knife. Very clever, Larry. Be careful, you Larry. You to work your knife out of your pants and use it to slice the bungees until... Love well that still. done, Larry. You're free. That's the still you right dress. there. Now you're feeling ready to go back out and conquer the world. Again. Oh, the yeah. cheap knife broke in the process, so you dispose of it as any responsible gamer would do. By the way, we did not fully admire this yet. This is from artist Mark Chaburka's Horn Dog series. <laughs> it's imaginatively entitled Number Four in Horn Dog series. Clever. Let's grab. You dispose of the cord you cut through and save the other three for some sort of demented shenanigans. Yeah, baby. So we got the cord. Lots of bungee now. We can do some. Uh... Well, we can. Head back One to Lefty. One glass is enough, Larry. You want to be able to function. Leave the bucket where it is. Other Larry games that would come in handy, but... Oh, well. Guess you'll have to wait for another night to see some action, Bridal Sweep. Poor Larry, but is anyone anywhere surprised? Right down we go. which are all oh thank god a human being come join us how you doing tonight okay all right this is josh mandel life story that sounds like king graham that's josh mandel thank you wow there's a show going larry keep your voice down wow there's a show going <laughs> can i continue now thank you i was taking off my shoes and she saw my toes which are all you take the nearest available <laughs> sir, sir, I do the bodily function humor in here. You just sit there and look. Well, you just sit there. You can just hear it if you just tweak this slightly. You hear the Cedric. Cedric. As I, was saying, I was taking off my shoes and she saw my toes, which are all twisted and funny looking. I said the only thing that came into my mind. I said, sorry, when I was a kid, I had tolium. Uh. Then I took off my pants and she saw my knees, which are all knobby. And I said, I'm sorry, when I was a kid, I had measles. <laughs> then I took off my pants. And she said, let me guess, 
Small Cox? Oh. Thank you. True story. So, how many people we have here from out of town? Don't answer me. That was a rhetorical question. I can tell you're out of town by the way you're dressed, sir. No offense to your leisure suit. Oh. You know brothels are legal in this state, right? Don't say anything. That was another rhetorical question. Of course you know brothels are legal. Everybody knows that. Speaking of hookers, this drunk guy thinks he's going into bordello, but he actually wanders into a podiatrist's office. And he thinks the nurse is the hooker. She says to him, okay, go around the screen and take off your pants and put it through. So he goes around the screen, takes off his pants, and puts his family jewels through the screen. The nurse walks in and screams. She says, that's not a foot. And he says, I didn't know there was a minimum. I had sex with well, a hooker tonight. Well, you trooper, but they're giving me the light. Either that, or they're trying to set me on fire. So stay here. Tracy Von Felcher will be right out to ask the musical question, Tears of Joy. Chaz Racamundo's been on drums. I've been Jeff Schitzfeld. Thank you, Lost Wages. Nice. Great. Oh. Her again you with that the one song. So we give our hearts a that was fun. Little Josh Mandel. Who uh, co-made this with Aloe. Among other people. Alright, let's head to... Taxi! Let's go to Lefties. What, are you my only customer tonight? Yeah, but I'm paying out. Like... How much money have I given you? Oh, no, wait. Lucky 20... How much money do I have? Five dollars. Well, that's not good. I'm not really in the mood. I'm not. You ain't trying to get. <laughs> what do I do that? Nobody. Take this. Oh, put the flag down. Take it. Oh, oh. I forgot. I need to gamble next time again. You take a cab ride. Be prepared to pay. All right. Good. No reloading required. So you really don't have to save it all in this game, but... Alright, let's make our money back quick. With our consummate gambling skills, we'll be back on our feet in no time. Have some pity on a guy who only has five bucks to his name, whose wife took him to the cleaners. Sweet. You get back. This won't take that long, actually. Don't think we're gonna need too much money. We need more than zero dollars. I'm still loving the yeah, baby. Really? Do you never bust, dealer? Come on. Seems unrealistic. Old Larry gives you money if you go completely broke. Let's test that you get theory. You get Future Larry. Help me out. You don't look like you're having much fun. I know. What's your regular? I sell software. Tell me if I just... You give the man a goon. Probably my breath fresh. Sometimes I work. No. Nah. Yeah. Get a room. You lick all me. Ah. Uh, a long, long time ago, I had one that looked just like that. You peer closely. Is this probably. What's wrong with it? Doesn't stay. You don't have to tell me. Sometimes I don't think women appreciate what a practical, <laughs> sensible, and stylish choice it is. Exactly. And what that says about a man. Listen. I spent my life being shot down by women for wearing polyester, and I don't care. It's a miracle fabric. Right on! Tell like it is, mister. Call me Larry. <laughs> that is so weird. My name Just is Larry Just not putting too. the pieces together. Uh, let's see. I am flat broke, future Larry. Can you help you me out? You don't owe it. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm not doing the right combination. Hey, finally they bust. Let's 
safe assumption. Insurance. I don't... I can't afford a insurance. Ah! Wow. How often do you win when they got an ace shelling? You're a lucky man, Larry Laffer, except for the fact that your wife just stole your money and didn't sleep with you first. That's not... So maybe you're not that lucky, but you're making bank. Sweet. That's not... That's not... not gonna go too nuts here. We basically just need That's cab fare for the rest of the game at this point. I'm pretty sure. King's Quest. <laughs> Speaking of Josh Mando. Let's at least get to four digits. Take it. All right, last hand. Assuming we win. Suck on that, Fawn. She's not gonna. All right, now let's go back to lefties, now that we have money. Taxi! When will this shift end? Guano Bell. That'll be 60. I feel like he was $21 last time. Is your meter working? Thanks, kid. It's kind of setting the price depending on what mood you're in, how you're feeling. You rap loudly on the Naga High door. Yeah? What? I thought you were watching porn. It's Ken sent me, but like, where's the, uh... Where'd it go? Can I just tell you? Uh... Damn Swordfish. Uh... Damn fool. It's... Give him the right... <laughs> uh... Damn. We had it before. I thought I said we threw it away so we wouldn't need it anymore. Alright, let's go back to the bathroom, I guess? You don't need. You don't need to turn on the. Is there like another page to my inventory that I can't find? Ah, uh, gotta drag the inventory. My fault. Bum, bum. You rap loudly on the Naga High door. Not sure that's the sound that would make, but. You read all- uh, Yeah, baby! Did I get more points for that, that time? He doesn't question why, just keep coming in here. <laughs> Opens the door from- Oh, hi, Larry. Thanks for the porn. She doesn't think anything of me just coming up here to go through the window. Alright, let's see if we can attach these properly. That's not going to help Lefty at Here, this is for me. Well, I'm you attach the bungee cord securely to the fire escape. Okay. Yeah. Here, this well, I'm You can't add a bungee cord while the first one is attached to the fire escape. But you can detach the one on the fire escape, link more. Yeah, baby. Long bungee. 
You can only attach one but You can't add a but It would be nice if you could s Here! Well, I'm what? You detach the bungee cord from the so fire escape. Let's make escape. a super long one, I guess. There we go. That's very like Space Quest 6 when you're making the, uh, the, the Roger out of prison food. You attach the bungee cord securely to the fire escape. It's you, Le You hook the other end of the bungee cord to your belt loop. What could possibly go wrong with this arrangement? They're on the other side of that... You yank, you yank on the f Interesting. You remove the bungee hooks from your belt loop and the fire escape. Disassembly. Huh. Okay. So if they were... I want to dangle here. Get my hammer. You whack... With the bungee attached, you hurl yourself off the fire escape. There we go. Geronimo! Oh! Your equipment was way too long. Oh. Ever think you'd have that problem? No. As life ebbs from you, your body is picked clean by wandering bums, muggers, and raccoons. And then, like the miracle of spring, life begins anew. My $1,600. It was just, you didn't have to think about this in the last game. Yeah, baby. All right, so let's see. Let's try the short one and the long one. Let's just try these two. You attach the bungee cord securely to the fire escape. And then, attach it to us. You hook the other end of the bungee cord to your belt loop. I'm feeling good. That sounds like that was right. Good guess. With the bungee attached. Geronimo! Oh! All right. Your then. equipment was <laughs> everything <laughs> as long as it. All right, so I guess. <sighs> now I'm like. I don't know, was the long one enough to. Maybe the two shorter ones? You attach the bungee cord securely to the fire escape. You hook the other end of the bungee cord to your belt loop. I'm feeling good about I keep saying that. I've been wondering if I'll get a, like a yeah With baby if we get just the right length. Hell yeah. Oh, awesome. And the judges give it a 10. You accidentally lost the hammer in the window, but that's okay. You won't need it anymore. You got the pills. You unhook yourself from the bungee cords and dispose of the- Alright. What kind of pills did we get? Oh, Spanish fly. That face. Alright. Trying your- Yeah? But this time, you come up- Head back into lefties. So, we needed some alcohol. The, the only way we can get is the, um, the vodka. So, let's try Hello? putting everything together. I wanna do some Not sure what we're gonna damage. put this into. Give me a vodka. That'll be five dollars. You flip five. You don't drink the vodka. Okay. So let's see. Better way to combine them. Oh, is this? Is that, yeah, is that the hot sauce? So we can put everything in the old discarded hot sauce bottle. Yeah, baby. There we go. And the vomit. Yeah, baby. And he's the cabbie's not gonna grab that. Now improves immeasurably. All right. Well. Yeah, baby. Oh, Delary. Oh, Delary. <laughs> who knows? Who cares? There we go. All right. Back to the hotel on the double. We've got stuff for Faith yeah, and Jasmine at this point. 
should strike out probably Maybe twice. You should let but we'll see. Let's be positive. Lucky 20. Thanks, yeah, You're just making up these rates as you go, man. If I wasn't so moneyed, I might take issue. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.